Sergeant. Sergeant. Sergeant, what the hell is wrong with you? There's something in those trees. Hello everyone, this is Contra from Contra Sewing and welcome back to another edition of DIY Sewing. In this video tutorial I'll be showing you how to sew a multi-tool pouch. As you can see, this pouch is suited for a multi-tool. In this case I'm using a Leatherman Wave. But I will be showing you how to make it to suit any uh, multi-tool no matter what its size, it will fit perfectly and it will stay in place if you are working outdoors or um, outdoors bushcrafting and whatnot you want your uh, multi-tool to be secure so as you can see um, it has a uh, belt loop on the back it has some D-rings for your carabiners to hold it on your uh, pouches or whatnot it has a pull tab, it has some velcro on both sides, it's, you can adjust the size of the pouch according to your multi-tool. For example, if this multi-tool is a bit bigger, you still can hold it in place like so. You have some elastic loops on the sides to hold it in place, to hold it tight so it doesn't fall out of the pouch on its own which is very nice so let's start sewing okay so in order to make our pouch for our multi-tool whatever your multi-tool is and mine is a uh, Leatherman wave. So we need length and width uh, times two. Okay, so let's check out what's the length of this one. So 10 centimeters by two centimeters. So to explain further, something like this, and we want to close it. Maybe to here. Okay, <clears throat> we are leaving maybe uh, one and a half centimeter. We have full length, full length of the of the tool of the multi tool. Mark this. So we have its width, which is two centimeters. That's gonna be our bottom side, our bottom part. So we have, so we have another length, and we're gonna have another width as well. So when you place it like so, and you close it. then you have your top side going down and you want to leave maybe few centimeters so you have some something to pull on something to open it with and you're gonna see why okay so this is our measure so next thing we're gonna burn these ends to stop them from fraying have our length like so it uh, it doesn't have to be a specific uh, length of this because um, depending on your multi-tool you're using or knife or whatever you're making it for so you're going to use uh, measures of, of that said uh, item now we're gonna use another uh, webbing another part of the webbing this is a I think four centimeters yeah, four by two centimeters. 
um, you can use five centimeters if you have it this is what I have at hand and I'm going to use two and a half uh, centimeter webbing to uh, strengthen it a bit like so so cut cut the webbing accordingly Right now it's time to sew it on. So we want to place it in the middle like so and uh, sew it one time to the to the left, one time to the right and in the middle. So this is how this looks now. It's more rugged now. Uh, it has some um, uh, strength to it with the double webbing. Okay, so for the next step, on the back side, we need to sew a handle and a uh, D-ring. So we first need to determine exactly where is our front side and where is our back side. So this will be our front side, mark it X, or <laughs> uh, scribble on it, and this is our cover, let's mark this as circle, so we know that's a cover, and for our back side, we need to determine now where it starts and where it ends. So. In this case, I will be sewing just a loop with a D-ring on it. Okay, so we are going to add a, a belt loop, so something like this. I don't want to have it uh, straightened out like this, so I'm, I want to add a bit more uh, webbing to it, so it has some space centimeter or two. Now uh, I want to leave a space for my D-ring. So this will be the length. Okay, so to summarize uh, we want to fold a bit of the webbing. You can also sew it like this. It will work as as well but I'm used to doing it like this so we are folding the webbing like so placing it on the bottom adding maybe a centimeter or two or more and since we are adding a D-ring we want to place it like this it goes underneath Okay, let's start sewing. Uh, I'll be sewing a box cross shape stitch. So we are folding the webbing inwards. Uh, leave enough space so you can sew a cross shape stitch.
so this is our back side it has enough space for the belt also we have a gear ring which is great if you want to hang your uh, multi-tool by a carabiner or something okay now it's time to sew on our front side let's mark so we're, uh, we are leaving maybe uh, a centimeter and a half from the top and this is our bottom and this is our middle. Okay, so here is how is this going to be. So we are going to sew a uh, male velcro on this side because if we sew the female or fluffy velcro here, the fluffy one is the usually the one that wears out first. Uh, so it's harder to replace it. That's why we are going to place the male side here and the female side will be on this side which will be easier to re replace. Now, uh, we don't want to sew it um, all across. We're going to sew it on uh, three points. So, uh, I drew these points here. It's on the middle, bottom and top. Because in, the, in these three parts, we are going to uh, pull through some elastic tape. Uh, that is uh, what's going to hold the item inside. So, let's start sewing. So I'm using a uh, three and a half centimeter uh, velcro. So for the front part, so we're going to measure how much we need. This is a rough estimate. Uh, I'm eyeballing it because um, I'm not using exact measures. I'm uh, sewing it according to my Leatherman. And you're going to make this according to your um, set multi tool. Okay, so now it's time to sew this on. First off, we need to measure it exactly where we are sewing okay so this is our front side we have some spaces here, we're gonna pull some uh, elastic loops through it, like so. And determine how much we need to actually have some tension on it. Like so. We need to find out how much tension we actually need to hold the item in place so we need to add maybe a centimeter like so and we're gonna sew it like this then we're gonna that should do it you need to do this on your own of course you need to find out uh, depending on what item you're using how much of the elastic loops you need
so we are folding maybe a half a centimeter like this and placing it placing it directly onto the back side piece Give it a round of stitching. this is what we got it turned out okay maybe uh, I don't like how much this is sticking out here but I guess that's okay now let's check this all right exactly as I planned it has some tension it won't fall out on its own which is actually very nice you can reach it with your uh, fingers okay now for the now for the top part and for the logo now we want to add a female velcro in case we are using for example a bigger multi-tool and it doesn't fit in the compartment imagine it's, it's sticking out like this So to mitigate it, we are going to add uh, velcro sticking out, maybe a few centimeters. Okay, so our starting point should be here. And some three centimeters on the top. Now we are going to add a pull tab and a um, and add more velcro to it. So something like this. something like this Now let's add our logo.
All right. Now let's see what we what we got. This works. If you don't like this bit, you can cut it off or um, you can sew it from the first uh, webbing and just sew it back here, like so. Okay, so this looks quite okay. I've shortened this bit. If you want to uh, join some sewing communities, you can go on to Facebook and uh, type in the the walking foot so there are lots of people there who can help you uh, including me um, with your sewing uh, there are a lot of friendly people shout out to Kirk Marquis for his great gift uh, by the way these ducks are his say hi to sergeant quack and private whack uh, he wants them to go on uh, adventure around the world I guess so that's why I included those in the video. So, uh, check the walking foot on the Facebook, link in the description. Alright everyone, I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope you learned uh, how to make this very cool pouch. If you like what I'm doing, you can subscribe, uh, like, share, comment in the comment section and tell me what you like, what didn't you like. You can support me on Patreon or PayPal, I will put the link in the description. Uh, you can follow me on uh, social networks, Facebook, Instagram, uh, Twitter. Um, thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you in another tutorial.